Hey guys, today I'm going to update a uh, video I made a long time ago, five years ago. Um, it had to do with uh, what video editing software to buy. I still get comments on this video. Uh, I got a comment like up to four months ago and I've told people through the comments that the video is obsolete. So I'm finally going to update you. Um, I'm also going to update you guys on uh, what I've been up to and uh, a new channel that I have. Let's just get right, right to it. Um, your first decision you need to make when you're going to buy and get an editing program. You need to know, are you going to go PC or Mac? So do you have a PC or Mac? If you have a PC, the very first thing, like I told you in the first video, use Windows Movie Maker. Go out and shoot something, get it into your computer, and use Windows Movie Maker to start editing. If you have a Mac, um, you can use uh, iMovie. Uh, it usually comes with your Mac. If not, you can buy it as an add-on for uh, $14.99. Both of those are, you know, you can lay stuff down, start cutting, start editing, and start figuring out um, how to tell stories and make content. When you're ready to move on to something bigger, we have the, the three big ones, the Avid, Adobe Premiere, and Final Cut Pro X. Back when I made the video five years ago, I really liked Final Cut Pro 7, uh, Final Cut Studio 3. Um, that is so old now. Um, if you're still using it, good for you, you know, keep going with it, but uh, it's pretty much discontinued, so I'm not going to really talk about that. Final Cut X, you know, the next generation of Final Cut Pro 7, as uh, they evolved it really more of like an iMovie type editor. Um, I'm not super familiar with it. I've used it once and wasn't the best thing for me. Um, I'll let you, one of YouTube's uh, best creators give you the uh, give you the 411 on what he thinks of it. I edit using this train wreck of a software here. It's called Final Cut Pro X. And it really is not great software. I mean, obviously Final Cut Pro X is, is still an editor, a good video editor that some people use. Uh, there are plenty of editors you can find to talk on Twitter good things about it. I've read good articles about it. Uh, it was uh, used uh, in the uh, filmmaking process for the uh, Tina Fey movie, Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot. Um, so I still recommend it for beginners. It's only uh, just about 300 bucks, two, $299.99. So it's an affordable app for a Mac user who wants to uh, edit something more than just on iMovie. All right, let's move to the two video editors that I think are more you know, at the battle of this forefront, which are uh, Avid and Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Uh, 2016 Adobe Premiere Pro CC you know I use that for a lot of my freelance work that I do um, and it has great work with where it can link to After Effects you know Photoshop if you get the, if you get the whole Adobe package obviously you are buying into an online subscription where you're going to download these products but you're going to get all the updates sooner um, Adobe Premiere you can get for PC or Mac um, and you know, there are some nice effects on, on Adobe Premiere. You can also add on other effects like, you know, going and buying, uh, if you guys don't know Rampant Design, look them up. They have some really nice effects that work really well in the Adobe Premiere timeline. The price for Adobe Premiere, just buying the single app off of online and downloading it is $19.99 a month if you sign up for the year, um, which comes out to about $240 a year. Um, if you buy all the apps, you know, Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, you're gonna pay about $49.99 a month. And that'll come out to about, just about $600 a year for you. Um, you know, I, I found that uh, the one one thing I found with when I do my prescription to Adobe is, uh, if you do a couple tries on, you wanna cancel it or take a break from it, they'll usually give you like a month or two month discount. Um, sometimes you might even be able to get this cheaper. Um, and obviously, if you're a student, you'll probably can get a cheaper price on this. Um, but again, I think Adobe's a very good editor, uh, something you can sit down and use, learn pretty quickly through using YouTube uh, tutorials, and uh, and can get get the job done. And uh, it has a lot of nice effects to add with it. All right, so let's move on to Avid. Avid, in my opinion, is still a uh, leader in the professional setting. Any kind of comp, you know, big style company. You know, big movies being made over in Hollywood, TV shows. They're still using Avid. They're still using Avid Media Composer. Um, and, and they've gone to more of a the online subscription also. Um, and again, this is their Mac or PC. Um, you can get them for $49.99 a month for the subscription to Avid, which comes out to about $600 a year. Um, you know, tons of effects inside uh, Media Composer. 
um, you know, the best add-on package is Boris, but that comes at a very, uh, you know, high price depending on what package you get, you know, $300 for like a lights package or you can get the entire uh, BCC complete package, which has lights, has uh, blurs, all that kinds of stuff and some transitions. Uh, but that one comes out to almost like $2,000. It's an expensive add-on. And uh, that is one thing I dislike about Avid. There are so many add-ons that, you, you know, like ramp it. Like how I mentioned that for Adobe is really good. It's good for Avid, but it takes a little bit more to, to put it into the uh, timeline and use it. Uh, a couple extra steps that you don't have to do in Adobe. The one main thing with Avid that's the best, it's just great shared storage. And once you have it in a uh, more of a more than one editor, uh, infrastructure, it's better working together with, with another editor where you can open the same project, work on it, and change things and do stuff like that. And for a student, it looks like there's even a cheaper student discount where it's only, Avid only charges you $9.99 a month. Uh, so I think that's really a killer deal. I mean, that's something I would go on, jump on right away if I was a student, had a student ID that I could prove I was a student. I definitely get on that and start learning that because that's what's all. The, that's what most professionals are using. You know, if you got a TV show you like, it's probably being cut on, on an Avid. Uh, movie you like is probably being cut on an Avid. Sure, there's plenty that are now being cut on Adobe Premiere. To kind of round up where I see these two, I really see Avid more as uh, in a company setting or in a infrastructure like that. For Premiere, I see that more for freelance editors. I think Premiere is awesome for freelance editors if, if you wanna work in After Effects and do all that kind of stuff and jump in and out um, and just be one solo thing, like how I am with my, my computer at home, I can just jump on and jump on all the apps and don't have to share with much people and I can just cut and jump between programs and finish my product that I put out. It's a lot easier for me. Now there are other editing programs out there that I'm just not so much familiar with, but the come at a, a much cheaper price, price, like free. You know, the number one one I would say is uh, DaVinci Resolve. You can download the free trial of DaVinci Resolve and you can get their editing system, which I watched the preview video for and it looks awesome. Um, I have heard a couple negatives about it, but not, not too many. Um, there's also, you know, one I always hear about at uh, NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters every year, is uh, Lightworks. I've seen them that demoed there. Um, I don't know why it hasn't taken off. I know it is a free product, but uh, you should definitely check out that one. Um, Hit Film is another one I see all over the place. People, you know, talking about representing. Uh, I've never used it, but it's another one you should probably check out. And of course, YouTube has its own video editor right inside of it. So there it is, guys. I mean, I really think most people who are going to watch this, who are YouTubers, content creators, are probably going to want to go with Premiere. I think that's more something that's to somebody who's watching this, it's probably something that they're going to relate to more. But if it's more if you're if you're looking to move to possibly California or somewhere else, if you're you know moving uh, in another country to a, to an area that's populated by people making uh, motion pictures, you might want to be concentrating on Avid. It really all depends on where you want to go. If this is more of a career outlook for you, or if this is a content creator outlook for you. Um, I hope that guys gave you some, some clarity of where things are now, and I've, I've updated this old video. One, two, three, shake, 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 shake. I also wanna let you guys know that I've been making other YouTube videos. I started up a YouTube channel with my daughter, and uh, if you guys could, if you liked what you, what you got from me today, uh, give that channel a quick look. Maybe you guys are older now, you've, you've got some kids, you wanna see some kids playing. Uh, a lot of videos are me and my daughter playing. And I'm trying to get some more uh, subscribers and views over on that one. Kind of looking for something else to uh, keep me busy in the very small amount of time I have because I have a daughter now. If you want to see more videos like this, more, you know, my thoughts on things or uh, I could do some how-to videos, uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, please like this video.